Okay, so the battery is fully charged now with three bars. I think this is the real deal because the weight of the battery is substantial. So I have this other types of 4 amp hour battery. The battery itself is lighter than this. Anyway, I'm going to use this capacity checker to do the test. The voltage now is 20.8 volt. I'm going to discharge it at 1 amp. And the cutoff voltage is 15 volt. The battery will probably cut off before that, maybe 15.5 or 16 volt. And we'll see how long it would take. Okay, time's up. Three hours and 54 minutes. It has discharged 3916 milliamp hour or 69295 milliwatt hour. So that's 69 watts or 69 watt hour, 13 or 3.9 amp. So I would say that's close enough. I mean, this is advertised as 20 volt, 4 amp hour. So that's close enough. So I got this for $15. So yeah, I'm happy with this. So for those who's interested in using or buying this battery capacity tester, it's about 40 to $50 on eBay. And what's going on here? Basically, it's the voltage and amperage connection. If you are doing a heavy discharge, you would need bigger wires. So I'm just doing one amp and I can use a test clip to do this. And then you just hook it up to your battery, positive and negative. Make sure you insulate everything. You don't want wires to be touching or you cause your battery to short circuit and that's not a good thing. Okay, so to change the settings, if you want to, now it's set at 15 volt cutoff, 1 amp discharge rate. That's the temperature and 20 hours is the limit for the discharge. To change the settings, double press set. And then set would be the scroll, okay. So let's switch this back to 16 volt. Yeah, that would be 16 volt. And then you can also change the uh, hours to how many hours before it will cut off. 